Chuck. This season Eve, we have had quite an eventful trip. It's kind of a spur of the moment trip. We scouted this morning and as of 12 o'clock, we didn't know we were coming down here. And it's quite a ride from us, three plus hours. The word on the street is there's some birds down here. There ain't nothing back home or anywhere else where around we hunt. Sweetie Pie didn't make it. He had to watch the kids, couldn't make it. So I hauled tail, went and got his boat and his truck and hauled tail down here so I could scout and get eyes on it to make sure it was worth it. Well, I was 20 minutes away, about 80 miles an hour, and a tire blows out on me. I didn't have a, a four-way impact or anything, just unprepared. I called some family of, of the family, got hooked up. Appreciate uh, Ryan's dad, you know who you are. Hooked me up, got me off the side of the interstate, and uh, so that was that. So what I waited on you probably... Two and a half hours? At least. Uh, probably closer to three, three. You got here at 10 o'clock, I think, pretty yeah. much. About 10 o'clock, you had a few stops to make. Picked us up, shout out to Sweetie Pie for hooking us up with the supper. But, uh, so that happened. So then we get everything ready, get ready to back the boat in the water, and I pull the motor one time, and it cranks up, fires up, and stalls out. Well, it would not crank back up, and I told him it's a fuel issue. It's bad gas or carburetors clogged up. So I pulled the little side plate off the carburetor with the little screens that and it was milky looking, so there was some old fuel in there. So, uh, and generally I, I run my carburetors out of gas on a two stroke, but this one has been ran, I don't know, it only sat for about two months since the last time I ran it. But uh, anyway, I pulled the screen out and pumped several pumps through it and just let it blow fuel out and it ran its cycle and we finally got going and got out here. But it looks like Arkansas back at the boat ramp when we left. We had what, probably 20 boats ahead of us. Yeah, and there was two or three behind us. Yeah, and that was at before AM hit. That was at PM. <laughs> yeah. But we got a really good hole. Like, it's away from everybody, I feel like. I don't think anybody really knows about it. And it's a pretty good open hole. Well, we got our decoys thrown out. It is 12.44 in the morning. We're going to just hang around. <laughs> Things we do for ducks. Don't get into duck cutting. It costs a lot of money you'll go crazy. You end up on one side of the state and then the other side the next day. We're in Louisiana right now. Y'all stay tuned. We already got our decoys thrown out. Ready to go. We're going to cut, catch a little shut eye if we can and we'll see y'all at shooting light. Duck season 2023. Here we go, baby. We slept pretty good last night in the John boat. We got up a little bit ago. We got birds everywhere. We hear mallards. We hear teal. I think we hear some gadwall. Now what they do when they get up, I saw on them. Matt's finishing putting the boat away. <clears throat> we are like less than 10 minutes to go time. Decoys are out. Everything's ready. Duck season 23. Let's roll. What's going on gang? Hopefully y'all are still with us. I want to get on here and do some clarification. I know I'm not in on this hunt, but I need, I need to break it down for y'all. I'm just out here putting up all our gear, getting it dried out, cleaned up, getting the boat washed out. We've had one heck of a first split. It's over now. We're going to catch a little break, go back to deer hunting for a little bit. I reckon spend some time with the family. But as far as this hunt goes, Sweetie Pie, he just got that shot cam. Didn't 100% know how to operate it, so he missed some good shots as far as cameras get, camera footage goes. They said when shooting light hit, the whole WMA just turned into a dove shoot. 
people weren't letting birds work. They they had one group of teal hit the decoys. That was it. They said there was so much shooting going on around, the birds just wouldn't work. They'd have birds, you know, around, and as soon as a group went to shooting, you know, the birds picked up. Don't know if Matt and them, they were in a bad spot compared to somebody else, but he said there was a lot of high shooting, pass shooting going on. They had one stationary third-person view going in the shot cam. That was it. So learning experience from this hunt, after that, we started running head mounts. Me and Matt both were running head mounts. We had a good buddy come hunt with us named Coop. You'll see him eventually. He started running a head mount. And then we had Sweetie Pie's shot cam. They ended up finishing the hunt with two ring necks, a green wing teal, and a gadwall, and 10, ten coots with three shots. <laughs> I did some research on the shot cam took sweetie pie to school on how to use this shot cam and the footage after this hunt you guys gets way better so hope you guys will stick around that way you don't miss the ones coming up we were a little rusty we got we knocked the dust off and got things rolling we got some really good footage coming for you guys i know we've had a lot of people they've been asking hey where's the duck videos at where's the duck videos at but like i said we're committed we're about to bring y'all some good content so if you ain't already, make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, and we'll see y'all next time.